Hello, our friends, Evolutionary Energy Arts family. Hello there. Welcome back. So, guys, we're going to try to give you a quick news update. want to thank everybody that's supporting us over on Patreon. We definitely want to say a huge thank you. And if we have given to you in some way, that's a, a way to help give back so we can keep on keeping on. Yes, and all the videos go up in that one spot all the time. And we're working on some new stuff as well. So we have thousands of Trump supporters currently protesting in front of Trump Tower after the former president was found guilty of 34 charges. Three and four, right? Seven. Mm, yeah, you know, always looking for the numerology. And, you know, here we are. We're about to step into June tomorrow. So June, man, it's going quick. 2024 is going quick. It has certainly been an interesting year so far. And what we have going on is is the laying of groundwork for that which is to come. And, and that feels so self-evident. As you see, uh, Elon Musk saying, Indeed, great damage was done today to the public's faith in the American legal system. Well, you know, again, it's it's a great awakening. Let's leave it at that. If a former president can be criminally convicted over such a trivial matter, motivated by politics rather than justice then anyone is at risk of a similar fate you know as this other person here geiger capital says uh, the first felony convicted conviction of a former u.s president wasn't for iraq or afghanistan wars illegal cia coup drone striking weddings or spying on americans we could add a whole bunch of stuff into that it was because of a misclassification of a payment. He, yeah, the reality is, you know, there's, well, probably most, and maybe I shouldn't even say probably most, uh, yeah, most heads of state do uh, commit great and great, great egregious crimes against humanity on a regular basis. And, uh, you know, this is just part of the, it's part of the plan to provoke a response that will bring about a new way of looking at things. How about this? This is out of RT. Musk and Trump in secret talks. The ex-president and Tesla CEO, SpaceX CEO, you know, one of the leading forces on, on bringing humans to Mars, are exploring ways of giving the billionaire formal input and influence on government policies. Republican presidential frontrunner Donald Trump could make Tesla CEO Elon Musk a White House advisor if he wins the election in November. Interesting. Can you imagine now if they uh, create some, some new position out of the blue and then at some point in time, it's just Elon taking over? Wouldn't that be... Uh, I mean, again, be, this is all for appearances, but at the same time, you have to have a step in between this where everything is basically, as we're starting to learn, uh, you know, meaning the greater majority of the world starting to learn that it's been an illusion. Again, that deep state thing. Uh, and just how deep is the deep state. Going to the transition of what we know is coming, where those that will stay in the system will knowingly be underneath non-human control. Those that stay in the system ultimately are going to be uh, pledging their allegiance to non-human forces and, and obeying non-human forces. Well, what's a better person to kind of bridge the gap than Elon Musk? You know, stand in that middle ground between... That which was <clears throat> the uh, quote unquote election process, you know, wink, wink, nod, nod, and just outright what we would call draconian and Anakian uh, rule. Mm. You know, I look at this and um, I think for many people, this would be a very popular, popular move. I mean, a lot of people do like Elon. They feel like he's, he's, you know, he's, Batman. He's the cool guy. He's uh, trying to make everything better. He's, 
you know, giving giving back free speech. So to me, it's more like, oh, here, let's put this in front of everybody and then let's just make sure it doesn't happen for some one way or another and make people really, really angry because that's what I see happening with the system over and over and over again is they get people's hopes up and then they slam them to the floor. And this is just psychological. It's all psychological to really screw with people. Um, screw with their emotions, get them riled up. And, you know, it, it really doesn't matter what they do. There's no reason to get riled up. There's no reason to get upset because the script is just being played out. They've already planned it out, whatever is going to happen. So, you know, what, what do you do with all this energy you have? You put it into your own family. You put it into your own self. You get yourself prepared because ultimately at the end of this trail, at the end of the day, um, the plan is to screw with you. And the plan is to make it so you cannot take care of yourself. The plan is to make sure they have control over you. The plan has never been, and I don't care who they put up in front of us, it's never been to give us an upper hand. Sorry. <clears throat> no, it, it's just a reality. Um, it is just a reality. And, you know, again, it's not set in stone, but, you know, secret talks are being leaked. So, you know, it's in people's minds and more and more people will see it as something that is of significance, possibly on down the line. So you won't be you know stunned and surprised when this happens and then at some point in time uh you know when elon is in more direct control remember he's just an actor yeah absolutely absolutely they all are they all are it's really a big uh play for humans to keep humans thinking uh that they have significance in this system but really this system is not even controlled from this planet uh, and here you see David Icke, the naivete is breathtaking happening now. President Donald Trump receives massive wave of support. He's getting big donations, 300,000 here, more there. You know, again, uh, this is something that is all about, oh, okay, so this is how it happened. You know, looking back in retrospect, we'll, we'll say this was a key moment. This changed everything. Uh, yeah, well, those that are still sound asleep. Now, here you have AU10 Tix is a Israeli company, part of a group launched by members of Israel's domestic intelligence agency, Shin Bet. You've been had people. X is Israel. <laughs> Musk is Israel. Israel's government, intelligence, and military network is the cult. Yeah, absolutely, as you can see to this, and, and this is how they are, right? How many times do you have to check these little boxes, and it says that I agree to X and auto 10 ticks using images of my ID, my selfie, et cetera, et cetera, biometric data. Yeah, you know, it, it, and how many times are you hitting submit every single day? Submit, human. I, I hear that little voice all the time in my head. It's like, submit, human submit you must submit submit to the to the as he says the cult yeah absolutely absolutely you know uh david ike has been on more than he's been off that's for sure and you know if you look back to when he first came out most people thought he was just a raving lunatic yet now you actually have a fairly large size of the population that actually you know does believe that there's life in other planets that there are other planets out there uh and that there's alien life that is perhaps interfering or interfering or controlling us and yet you know it's a growing segment as as we are awakening but that's again you know what we have in a bronze age so you know here you go and really when you see israel what you're seeing is Every time I see Israel, I think Mars, and I think Ijiji, and I think, you know, those that were left in place um, by the draconian Anunnakian, dark Anunnakian system to govern while the gods left, you know. And, and again, uh, it's all right there in our mythos, all right there. Look at this little picture. 
Yeah, if Trump gets arrested, he will be re-elected in a landslide victory, so said Elon Musk last year. So, you know, how is that going to fit in with the war? Now, that is the big question, and, and that is the piece that um, I don't have clarity of in my own mind. You know, does he end up somehow being put in in the middle of, of the war and then brings peace uh, a settlement to the issue uh, you know how are they going to play this out I, I think it really depends on what AI is saying the statistical likelihood is at, at the moment depending on all of our consciousnesses mm -hmm. We should probably keep in mind, um, you know, you want to hold the vibration of freedom. You want to hold the vibration of peace. Um, everything that they're doing is like nails on a chalkboard to the human soul because there is an understanding of how we are going to reply. And I think what, what I see they're doing is they just, they really want people so very, very angry and there's no point in getting angry getting angry is not going to fix anything it's not going to help you and your family it's not going to help your health it's not going to help how things go in the grocery store getting angry at anything that this system is doing is truly a waste of time and it's feeding into their plan I mean, I, 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 I'm one who holds on to hope, but I've learned through watching one scenario after the next, the hope lies within me. The hope lies within how I respond to everything that happens to me in my life. You know, we pay attention to this because it's probably going to have some <laughs> dictation in what goes on in your life. And you want to have a clue as to what's coming. You want to have an idea uh, as to you know what the plan is so that you can adjust yourself as needed because that's there's going to be a lot of that going on people are going to see what's coming down the pipes and they're going to say oh no oh no 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 I am not going to do this and that's why I keep track of it because there are certain things that I want to know in case I need to readjust myself and that's just how how life seems to go but I'm I try to be very careful to not fall into the the pit of anger that they're setting up for so many and they do want you mad that again your tax money your your efforts your work uh it goes to things like again hush payments to cover up sexual harassment claims it goes to way worse than that even i mean it, it goes to wanton death and destruction it goes to toxification of air, water, and food supply. Uh, it goes to so many things that are just atrocious. So why would they do that? Well, because they want to bring in a new system. That, that's just it. They're running out of time, and they only have so much time to get things in place to salvage what they can of, of their human resource on the planet. Meanwhile, we have the Houthis claim missile strike on U.S. aircraft carrier. So this is the one that was in the Red Sea, Dwight David Eisenhower. And I had shared that I just had a voice pop in my head during meditation and say, clearly the name of the ship that's going to go and replace this one um, and had like a just a vision of the ocean and a setting sun behind it. So that ship was on its way coming over uh, to spell this one. Now, is this one going to be sunk? Uh, is this is this part of a bigger uh, thing going on? I don't I don't know. Um, again, with with me, those those things come, and uh, I'm not given that type of clarity. But yet, I just found it interesting. Uh, that the Houthis and, and many sources are talking about it. We don't know what type of damage, um, but several missiles allegedly struck a uh, radio station building here on the ship. As th These ships are just enormous, uh, as well as areas uh, surrounding the uh, Coast Guard headquarters in Port Al-Salib, -Sal where several commercial ships were damaged as well. So... You know, this, this was hit, um, various other targets were hit. You know, on Thursday, British and American forces launched a large-scale attack on various Houthi targets in Yemen. That's been going on for uh, quite a while, as we know. It, it's just a ramping up, in, and yet we're getting close to June, which feels to be the month 
uh, that things you know go to that other level latest known close estimate position of the Eisenhower and again this is in um, a pretty tight location for such a big ship too so in some ways it it's kind of a sitting duck being that big in, in that particular area there then we have uh, we have another mass shooting this is in Minneapolis in which it feels like things are being um, covered up and you know wondering what is that uh, that is being covered up so it's a little confusing looking at the information that's coming out a uh, police officer killed two civilians also died as did the suspected shooter what happened is well let me r read this part a resident in the area told the local news that she heard five loud pops in which she realized were gunshots saw people running from a man with a gun the woman added she saw a lot of police officers responding they were telling residents stay inside other witnesses reported hearing dozens of shots other agencies were also seen responding to the area um, and it seems that at least six people were shot it seems that the police officer I read one report where there was a body lying down and either asking for help or somebody else saying there's a body there you know he needs help and when the police officer went over there the that's the shooter that then shot the police officer that was killed it feels like a cover-up to me um, and also uh, talking about a, a fire a fighter that was injured as well it's strange you know this this I gotta wonder if you know it feels like the police were intentionally targeted there's been quite a few of those lately I gotta wonder is it, is it like cartel activity inside uh, the states because the cartels are working definitely with um, Russia and China in this whole uh, migrant situation that's going on is it is it that was it a migrant or was it just uh, again uh, somebody that is on drugs and you know just off their rocker um, I don't know but I get the feeling that there's some sort of cover-up going on here mm -hmm. I, I do too I think there's a targeting involved there's um, you know there's some plans involved like this is something where it wasn't just a, a random incident it's very unfortunate any any time anything like this happens it's just awful and and your hearts have to go out to the families because you know this is this is somebody this is somebody's uh family member and to lose any family member in any way especially when it's really traumatic like this there sends a wave of trauma out into the world and, and that's that's not good and sometimes i feel like they do this deliberately to send out that wave of trauma so it's very very unfortunate and this was absolutely brutal and and horrible so we won't play it but this is a um you know, basically a, a critic of various things, including apparently Islam riled up um, a person that was a Muslim and the, he went on a stabbing spree and stabbed multiple people, in, including a critic, a, a, you know, a particular critic in Germany. And uh, he was shot and killed, um, but he was just viciously attacking anybody uh, getting near him. So this is the danger of that fundamentalism going to the extreme. It, again, it's been used to burn people as witches. It's been used to uh, eradicate, quote unquote, heretics that don't believe, you know, the official teachings. Uh, of of the church it, and so when we look to the to islam and christianity and the history that's there with with you know the warfare based on on ideology uh religious ideology and you know we we understand that these are manufactured belief systems that are you know being fostered for this exact purpose now, there are always people that are, 
truly uh, in a system that it doesn't matter what the system is, there's still going to be uh, people that are going to have a heart and you know be relative saints compared to the rest of the population. Doesn't matter what system that they're in, just because that's their natural frequency and and that's you know who they are and who they want to be. You know, peaceful. But then you also have those that will become militaristic in their you know belief system and the structure and view everybody else as a quote unquote infidel or a heretic and thus can commit atrocities in the name of god because it's been done you know m millions and millions and millions if not billions of times on this planet mm -hmm. it is and and they they know exactly where to place a human mind to have the most control over them and that's in the belief system and again you know it goes back to yourself like how are you going to react and respond to these things because we are responsible for for those actions um you know to me the best thing to do is have an understanding of how the world works and then create your own belief system and always carry the frequency of peace and and then how can you be offended how can you be used by the system as a tool you can't because you just carry that frequency yeah and again you know is it fear-based is it a fear-based system where you have to join the belief system or else you're going to get punished in some way shape or form because if it is fear-based like that then it is of the control system it, it's pretty simple in that matter asian powerhouse declares intention to join BRICS, and this is talking about thailand and and thailand's economy adding to the BRICS uh, group of nations which is is going to uh, end up being, you know, the powerhouse economically. So again, uh, about 30% of global economy and population of about 3.5 billion or 45% of the world's total. When you take into consideration uh, that many of these countries didn't do uh, a certain thing with a certain type of substance, uh, that population may expand proportionately if you get where I'm coming from. I, I know you guys will. A destructive hailstorm ranging from tennis balls to baseballs are falling, heading towards Denver International Airport. The, the wildness of the weather, the people understanding more and more, seeing radar signatures. And, you know, Cindy was posting something on Facebook and she got her wrist slap because she was showing like all the different times when you know they predicted things including al gore that we'd be all underwater right now well we're not underwater but <clears throat> they're trying to do that as best as they can with the technology that's out there and give us uh certainly historic um record-breaking weather but then again we know there were mud floods and there were complete civilizations buried under 20 or 30 feet of soil and it seems rapidly so this is not the first time this has happened not not at all you know these look like regular bare aspirin or something like that now it could be just just basic chemistry causing you know this to happen but really what it was was out of childhood do you remember those snakes um i remember those things where you would light them and then they would do this it's like they came alive yeah that's pretty creepy pretty creepy what they can do i mean it's always best to find a way to do things naturally i know a, a lot of people out there they're in a position where they're trying to go from uh you know doing things from a pharmaceutical nature to a natural nature and that does definitely take time but you know one thing that i did that really pushed me was the understanding is that i knew that this stuff was bad for my body and you can see <laughs> you can see it's not good for you but it, it takes time. So anyone out there who's on that path, I want to encourage you to be good to yourself. Don't do anything too quick, too fast. Uh, take your time. Just do what you need to do. Do whatever is best for you. But just keep your eye on that ball. Your focus is what's most important. Not how quickly you get there. How quickly you walk on this path is not 
is not important. It's it's the focus on the ball and and be very careful. Be very careful to your body. Be very careful to your soul because a lot of this stuff really does change the way you think and it changes the way you react and you just cannot move very quickly with it. That's that's what I experienced and I I took years to come away from what the doctors had me on I took years and sometimes in some cases I would crush the prescription pills and I would take them in crumbs I I did ask my doctor if he would help me and he wouldn't he said that he wouldn't not in your case I'm not going to help you so I ended up doing on my own but you know I, I don't want you to take anything I say as medical advice absolutely not this is just what I did and it worked for me and i'm always hopeful that everyone else will find another way to do something besides of going at it in the system you know when you said that too it's like uh, you know we we have to say please don't take it as medical advice and then you think well okay don't take that as scripture and that generally means don't take that as being flawless, right? Perfect or, or accurate. But in fact, you know, break that script you are living. The reality is the scripture is, is distorted. And as I said, I don't think there's a single world system out here that doesn't have some sort of distortion in its scripture during these times. Uh, everything has pretty much been touched in one way, shape or form. Uh, you know, whether it's Abrahamic or, or non-Abrahamic, because, you know, I do think there are things that are um, maybe not exactly uh, accurate, but then still, even in, in the Hindu texts, but at the same time, there's some basic theories in the in the Hindu system um, that are very important, and also in, in, in others, too. Again, the Western mystery uh, tradition and Taoist philosophy, I, I think... Um, the Taoist perspective on many things uh, is a is a great place to go again because it's very non dogmatic. Did you know that Dimitri? Now, this is talking about the aether, or the ether, and again the the element that's before the elements. The, and it says, you know, do you know that the creator of the periodic table initially included it, but then was forced to remove it? Well, and again. In um, <clears throat> in the Western mystery tradition, including things like the Kabbalah, Kabbalah and Hermeticism, uh, and even in Gnostic thought, you know, this is something that's understood. And of course, it's in the East, uh, as we we have the four elements we're very familiar with descending from this principle. And this is what we are in. We are in. Um, a soup, an ocean of, of the life force. Again, it's, it is one with the life force that's around us, and, and it's using that life force. You can use that life force. You can take and draw that life force into your energy body. You can benefit your physical body. You can also benefit your mind. Uh, you can also benefit your emotions by the conscious drawing in of the ether, the life force. We can also, you know, think of it as a cloud because in some ways, and we'll see, you know, here you say, think of it as a cloud and automatically, you know, people understand the computer terminology, which we wouldn't have gotten, you know, 40 years ago, 50 years ago. But now we automatically, oh, he said cloud. So he's talking about information upload into a non, you know, uh, a non-local area but there is a cloud there's a natural cloud and and it's in the ether so you know you can read what's called or the akash you know the akashic records you can access that you know intuitives especially you know gifted ones like my beautiful lady next to me here you know they they could access it and yet why sometimes are they different? Well, because this physical body and, and the brains <laughs> that process the information are, are very, very finite, very, very limited. And each one of them is a unique lens. So you, you will get unique perspectives. And when we talk about what's important to you, like if, if we watched an event transpire, and there were many pieces to that event. 
one person might you know look at one aspect of that event like let's just say it was a car accident right now one person sees the car accident and they're really hooked up and really really like the new ford broncos so all to them it's like well you know number one that was one of those new ford broncos broncos you know i've been talking to the wife about you know that type of thing now his wife might be more into clothing and you know the person involved was wearing some clothing that the wife liked so well you know it was the lady she ran the light and she had this nice dress on blah, 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 blah. you know again it's from the perspective of what's important to the particular individual that sticks out and the way we view things through the lens that we acquire in more than one way we we have our lens of our soul and then we also have our dna lens and this is really you know the subject for a, a complete video but i just wanted to touch on that as to you know how we, we can look at things and and get people translating things slightly different from each other mm -hmm. definitely you know we're we're looking at this um the ether is so very important and there's ways you can strengthen your energy body so that you can manipulate the ether and you can manipulate that energy around you to bring yourself healing. I mean, that is so very exciting. And for me, something that's just so mind boggling and amazing, we we work on people distant and it's it's as if we were right there. It doesn't really matter that it's distant. It does not matter. Our intention, we are standing right there next to you because people can feel it. They can, I mean, it's palatable. We're right there. Sometimes people are like, wow, it feels like your hand is, you know, right on my shoulder. It feels like your hand is right on my head. And all the while we're doing it from here and what we do is we strengthen our energy bodies. It's like we're energy weightlifters. That's what we do. We're always strengthening that and we're strengthening ourselves too. Uh, things that we put in our body, we try to stay as clean as we possibly can because this information is critical when we're sending information to try to help someone heal. We need a healing type of signature. So it is all very, very fascinating how people can feel the energy, no matter how many hundreds of miles away that we are. And we've worked on so many people and, and created so much change. And we basically charge your energy body. So it's that thing that you are trying to do, which becomes easier for you. It becomes easier to happen, whether it's healing, you know, whether it's emotional support, which emotions are a big deal. I mean, they have a lot to do with the energy around you and how things flow around you. You always want things to be um, going smooth because if there's a, a trauma, if there's a trauma and you have yet to work through it, that trauma can make its way to your physical body, which can give you a lot of problems. Yes. And so um, over on Heart's Own, there's a bunch of different playlists and one we've been starting to build on is what we did the first video of on evolutionary uh, with some ambient music that is in 432 hertz, not the Rockefeller frequency. So it can actually uh, lift your energy and, and help open chakras, help clear away negative uh, energies because you, know, you might not realize it, but what we expose ourselves to as far as frequency every day has a huge, huge impact on us. It has more impact on us than in many ways um, any dogma ever could because it is the soup that we are bathing in it is the ocean that we're bathing in and frequency is so so important so I uh, do encourage everybody if you're so inclined you know join us over on Hearts Home and subscribe over there as well there are links in every video so when you <clears throat> go to a video and you go to pop it in we just did this one yesterday open up that that expansion there and then you'll find links to every single one of our channels you know even to brightian to rumble you'll find links to to ko-fi uh you'll find links to our website you'll find links to promo life uh that's ozone therapy 
you know so there's links to everything in every single video it's just a matter of opening that that drop down and expanding it so i just wanted to uh, again share that with you guys and this little guy he he somehow let himself out and he's smart enough to ring the doorbell to be let in look at him you know again animals we asked this question over on uh, Hart's Home, do animals have soul? Uh, and, and everybody was in agreement, yes. Again, that's because you guys, you know, you're, you're with it. You understand so much more than the average person does, unfortunately, still in these times. But it's expanding that outwards. When you look into his eyes, he has emotions, he has feeling. There's a soul in there. There is a soul in there, of course. And it you know, all... All souls come from the same source and are indeed fractals of the one source. Oh, and they are so beautiful. They're little guides and angels. And I've heard it said when I've asked for a hand, I was given a paw. Oh, they're so sweet. As always, guys, look forward to your comments. Source bless and namaste. Namaste.